So thank you very much. So great introduction. I'm Hiroka Shirada, just call me Hiro, assistant professor of Human Computer Interaction Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. Today I'm talking about uh, bot intervention in networked uh, human cooperation. So I'm glad to share my work uh, you, with you in this in conference social bridges. So as a researcher of computational social science, I have been studying uh, the inter-individual dynamics of social dilemmas and the collective action problems in social networks. So humans have evolved the ability to form complex networks of social connection. However, interconnected groups of people face challenges in collective action, such as cooperation and coordination. Individuals may see no optimal way to act when individual and group benefits are not aligned. So to tackle the collective action problems, many researchers working on theory and empirical data, I've been using experiments with real human subjects recruited from online labor market, for example, Amazon Mechanical Turk. So I let the recruited subject play some economically incentivized social interaction game. Then I analyze their behavior data at both individual and group level. So in other words, I created somehow artificial society and see what treatment, social treatment can really work to facilitate uh, coordination and cooperation to address the social dilemma. So using the online experiment, Again, I've been studying network intervention on the network embeddedness assumption. That is, all individuals, including those who attempt to intervene, are embedded, all embedded in network. And their recognition and direct influence are limited to their local neighbors, so local network neighbors. So in practice, it's very difficult and actually costly to observe our entire social system real time and to manipulate people with like a godlike power. So for the problem resolution, I focus on the role of individuals embedded in a network like us. So to understand the role of individuals, I sometimes introduce pre-programmed organizations that is bought into the networks of human subjects and have them interact with humans. So in other words, I create a hybrid system between humans and machines online. So from several bot integrated experiments of mine, I'd like to introduce today this study published by iScience last year. This work is about bot intervention in human cooperation in a network. So some of you may already know that, but cooperation is quite challenging because it creates a social dilemma. The group does best if individuals cooperate, but for each individual, there is a temptation to defect, known as the free rider problem. So resource depletion, climate change, and the public health practice that we all now challenge, all can be seen as a challenge of cooperation. So to study the cooperation problem, I use a game theory informed public goods game, or other name is a donation game, with a dynamic network setting. So this is a screenshot of the actual game view in my experiment. The game consists of multiple rounds and every round players have to make a cho choice between cooperation and defection with their local network neighbor. So in the game view, I didn't use the word that cooperation or defection intentionally. See? So there is no word about like a cooperation looks good, defection looks bad, but there is no word. But the blue choice A is actually defection and the orange choice B is cooperation. Subject choosing defection pay no cost, provide no benefit. Subject choosing cooperation pay cost to all their neighbor in order to give them benefit. So that means if their, your neighbor choose cooperation, you will get more benefit than choosing A, the defection. The network diagram shows now the subject play with three neighbors named J2, uh, Y9, and G7, with showing their local charts. All, all actually node represented human players. After choosing whether to cooperate with low frequency, subjects are also asked whether they make a tie with a new player and whether to break a tie with the current neighbors. 
So I call this setting tile wiring option. So that means player can change their network situation on their own with some probability. Then again, subject choose whether to cooperate with the updated neighbor. They repeat it to make the decision over 30 rounds. So this is a typical dynamic of network human cooperation. It's not only from my experiment, but also as I experiment and empirical study shows similar results. In this example, blue node, a subject choosing cooperation and the red node, uh, those choosing defection. So that round one, cooperation is a majority. So usually about 65% of subjects start with cooperation, but eventually defection takes over social system. The group, this group is not productive and sustainable anymore. The theoretical and the empirical study have repeatedly shown without certain treatment, human cooperation rarely maintained in this social drama setting. So how can bots make people give up pursuing self-interest and allow cooperation to take root? That is my research question of this study. To design the bot intervention, I started by analyzing actual human behavior with this game setting, so without bot. This graph shows a simple aggregation result of 309 subjects. These two graphs show the actually identical result, but with different y-axis. So the x-axis shows the number of local neighbors. So here, this example, uh, let's say five, okay? Then y-axis in the graph A shows the number of cooperators in local neighbor. So that means in this example is three, okay? So you can realize that this y-axis the number of cooperators in local neighbor is conditional on the number of local neighbors, right? Because this number does not exceed of this I axis. That's why this triangle press is absent. Then the y, the y axis of uh, figure B is the number of cooperators in local neighbor divided by the number of local neighbor. So that is the normalized version of this figure Y axis, okay? The cell color shows the rate of choosing cooperation in subjects who have indicated neighborhood quantity and quality. So for example, if you are placed in like, a, let's say 15 neighbors, but all of them choose defection in the last round, you are less likely to choose cooperation if you are, let's say the average human players of this 309 subject. So I applied the generalized linear regression model to this behavior data and estimated the cooperation probability distribution of average subject in the population. So in figure B, I transform the discrete value data to continuous value data just for visualization. So typically subjects who are less likely to cooperate, so that means indicated the red color, with increasing the neighborhood size and decreasing the neighborhood quality. So this finding is actually keeping with social roofing theory and social contagion theory respectively. Social roofing theory suggests people are less motivated to cooperate in a large group because they feel that their effort will no matter of the group. On the other hand, social contagion theory suggests people change their choice. For example, from cooperation defection by following their neighbor choice. So this cooperation pattern like this, of course, this is identical result, but you can see more clearly this graph uh, is theoretically reasonable. But in a practice, in practical program to reformers who want and attempt to facilitate cooperation with network neighbors. So again, the research question is how the additional reformer bot can facilitate cooperation in a group of people. So in this study, basically I made bot always cooperate with that target name, target prayer, prayer. So that means the bot always choose cooperation like a blue color because bot defection simply worsens the network environment of humans. So this point of bot strategy is how to allocate their additional corporate tie to the target population. However, it reflects a new dilemma. 
So from the egocentric perspective of human prayer, the bot support is taken as additional corporate tie. Right? So however, given the human behavior model, like showing like this, additional corporate ties are less likely to improve target cooperation probability. Why? The arrow indicates the trajectory of environment change from a certain neighborhood by the tie attachment or detachment of cooperators. Okay, so if you are located here, then if you got more corporate ties, so that means that your neighborhood status changing this direction. If you're losing your corporate ties, uh, your neighborhood status changing this direction, okay? Then you can realize, oh, wow, there's no change, no color change this direction. Either cell is similar. For example, if you are located here, then attaching cooperation or detaching corporate tie this direction, there's no color change. That means no change in the cooperation probability for this prayer. So that means they are allocated cannot make a meaningful difference in partner co and partners' cooperation probability because the effect of social contagion cancel out that of social roughing. Both may not change human cooperation with their corporate tie allocation and need further trick of intervention. So to, to resolve the reformer dilemma, I propose and tested a network intervention by tie brokers. The network intervention but do not change their own ties. Instead, they give a tie dividing option to their connected partner to make or break a tie with another individual. So the bot itself doesn't change the tie, but bot uh, observe this prayer's behavior and neighborhood status, then the bot asks prayer to make or break a tie with a specific individual. So tie brokerage offers great flexibility to the bot in terms of changing their partner's location. In particular, defector detachment brokerage, that is a disengaged network intervention can substantially improve the NTPR environment for cooperation. So if the bot, if the, for the player, if the detect, if they have some change with the co connection with the defector, their cooperation probability strikingly change with their network neighbor status, see this direction. So here's the result of only human session and no bot. The light gray line show each session's percentage of human cooperator across one, and the black lines show the average. The orange dash line here uh, the, shows the average cooperation rate at the first one. So as I showed before, without intervention, human subject couldn't maintain cooperation. Defection eventually become predominant. However, with a tie broker bot suggesting to cut a link with a non cooperative alter, almost all the sessions showed cooperation improved. At the end of the game, cooperation improved by 40% on average with a tie broker intervention. So, this impact is not just statistically significant, but also, I think, changed the social dynamics completely. Uh, to depart the defection uh, tractor. I quantify the per round change of cooperation in individuals. So in this slide, I show all the results of my experiment, including other four treatments. All the bots I used in the experiment added the same amount of connection and sometimes the same amount of rewind option to a social system. Only bot strategy is different. The most treatment you can see, the most treatment have a negative value. That means the cooperation decay, even with this bot treatment. For example, hit for tat. So that means uh, bot change their behavior from cooperation defection if the partner's players change, uh, choose the behavior to defection. That may famous strategy hit for tat that's little to facilitate group cooperation. Both can enhance human cooperation only when they use the disengaged uh, defector detachment network intervention strategy in my experiment. To my knowledge, this is a rare experimental evidence to show the cooperation promoting, not only sta stabilizing, promoting potential for individual strategy without changing the pair structure. 
or interaction settings. So the bot intervention strategy actually strongly affects human cooperation. I confirmed that even a single bot having only five types, that is average connection of the initial round of human players can promote group cooperation when they use the disengaged tie brokerage strategy. The network snapshot shows the example of cooperation and network change over, over round without and with a network intervention bot. So in the bot integrated session, the single bot here substantially changed the social dynamics. Interestingly, the bot plus C is becoming the periphery see, of the network in the later round. That means that through the in initial intervention by the bot, human came to develop a cooperative circumstance on their own. Subject cooperation pattern changed from this to this only by adding the single bot. That is a bot can work as catalyst of social networks and collective action. Our paper of iScience actually end at this point. But today I'd like to share one more finding in this line of work. So when I talked about the reformer dilemma, I explained why simple rewiring strategies so that bot tie connection and the attachment couldn't work with a cooperation probability distribution because this uh, course doesn't change the cooperation probability of the partners in partners. But this distribution is the average of hundreds of humans. That means different people show a different behavior model. Someone always cooperate or, or someone always do not cooperate regardless of their neighborhood status. That means even the bot that do something is their neighborhood status, they change their behavior. Even when people consider the neighbors, some are sensitive to its quality and others are sensitive to its quantity only. Okay, that's individual differences. So that means the different people should be affected very differently by the corporate ties of bot. For example, if the, co if the corporate bot attach this person, they probably change their defection to cooperation if they choose defection. In opposite way, if the bot attach this type of the human players, they are likely to choose defection from cooperation because these players change their behavior based on the neighborhood size. So then I came up with another possible bot strategy to improve group cooperation, that is personalization. So I want to go into the detail of the algorithm, but I basically use the Bayesian inference techniques to iteratively esti estimate each player's behavior model by the bot, observing their behavior here, cooperation or defection, so binary choice with the player's neighborhood status of so this status. Then the bot selected the target to give their support or not to give their support. Okay, so with the estimation, bot try to choose the connect this prayer rather than this prayer. I think the intervention strategy uh, is also uh, clever. Don't you think? Right? It's clever. Let's see how the Python station works. Here is a result. And you can realize that I failed. The personalized targeting intervention didn't work. Cooperation decayed even with the bot estimating, uh, even the bot giving corporate tie and estimating each subject behavior model and allocating their tie based on the estimation. As a possible reason, some rational moves with personalization might negatively affect subjects in their cooperation decision making because such complicated bot actions destroy some social norms among humans. Actually, some subjects say that we do not pray like this. So if you are interested in exploring why these AI bot work, please contact me. I'm looking for a collaborator to explore the data more deeply. So here is a summary from the experimental finding. All in all, the study suggests that AI agents for social good might need a different design concept from those for personal good. In general, because we humans are embedded in networks, 
assistant agent should liberate the network structure and dynamics that human develop. The last failure suggests that effective personalization might need further inference to interpret multifaceted social context and norms in human cooperation, or as an alternative, a simple heuristic might move people to act better because it allows them to grasp the intention of the simple act easily and to adjust. So for human players to adjust their strategy to the bot intervention. So in other words, these bots should be designed to help humans to help themselves by developing a new social norm or breaking an existing one. Well, that's it all from me. Thank you very much. And I also thank my research founders, advisor, and colleagues for all their support. Thank you. Thank you very much. This was a brilliant, very fascinating talks and very fascinating project. Um, and we have time for a discussion. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm happy to do that. Great. Um, let me kick this off. So I actually, I read your iScience paper, uh, mm -hmm. and it's a fascinating project. And, and um, so I'll, I'll start off with a few questions. So yeah. if, um, is, it, is it correct that if, so co coming back to, 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 to your paper, work in the mm -hmm. paper, the results mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. if, if people themselves actually realized mm -hmm. that there is this good strategy of whom mm -hmm. to remove and whom to add or who to add to their network, mm -hmm. and that in the long run, given mm -hmm. their own, you know, psychology, or, mm -hmm. or, or I don't know what the better word for is, that yeah. would lead to the better outcome for yeah. them, I guess, for everybody else, um, mm -hmm. then they would not even need the bot. Yeah. Do you, do you think, do you think, do you think that the, like showing people the success of these strategies mm -hmm. would lead to similar results if you, if you actually remove the bot? Uh... Yeah, it's really hard to say because even if we let them know about the knowledge, about the success strategy, sometimes people hesitate to behave like that. So for example, this is not uh, this experiment of iScience, but other, other paper of nature, like a couple of years ago, I also studied a similar things like bot injection in the human coordination is not cooperation. And actually the bot behave sometimes is randomly and the, at, that facilitate human coordination in my experiment. Then the interesting finding, one of the interesting finding is that human said, I know I should do sometimes random behavior to facilitate social coordination to reach a game, but I couldn't because I do not want to disturb my neighbors with my noisy behavior. Okay, so that's the power of social norm. For example, in this case, uh, people, uh, if people know, it's like, oh, okay, I will cut my tie with uh, defectors and I make a more connection with cooperator, they know. But some player, not all, but some player actually hesitated to do that because they want to a chance to some cooperation uh, opportunity for current defectors. That behavior actually is, uh, give opportunity for defection to cascade the social system, unfortunately. So that means that I think people already know the success strategy in terms of the tie rewiring, but actually the, even though the only human session doesn't, didn't work in my experiment, and both injection help to people to behave more this way. So that means that maybe after the bot injection, we can remove the bot because people now have a new norm to develop the cooperation. But before injection bot, we just give the knowledge to the people, hey, this is a success strategy. I'm not sure if it works well because even for the only human session, people basically know the success strategy in Thai Rewire. Very fascinating. So it's, so it's sort of as if you need someone else to tell you what to do. And there's something yeah. about that interaction. It that actually works, works. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not only tell them, but also that like behave them and how it works. I think it's needed. And yeah, it, some people, of course, can do that, but not all. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
uh, but more stronger effect on this type of experiment, actually. Yeah. Okay, I see. So, and I see how that links to your current current part of the project. And then, yeah. so then, the, then that's slightly different uh, question. So, mm -hmm. uh, I wonder why did you have one bot? Why not? Why? Why? Make, perhaps. What if every human had a personal AI advisor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's an interesting question. Actually, that in this paper, I have basically two steps of the experiment. The first step I show about like a, uh, this uh, disengaged bot works and doesn't as a strategy doesn't work is that actually that all players have one connection with bot. That means basically, as you said, all the player have one personal assistant of the bot in the human players. That is my first step. And then I got here. You are. I got uh, this result. Okay, so this is not only one bot experiment. This bot play, this game, this experiment, all the player have one connection with the bot. So basically, all the player have one personal AI assistant. Then only this disengaged strategy can improve the cooperation. Okay, so that means, that, for example, the they have a bot. Here is a connection with the bot then the bot like works tit for tat for all the human players because they all have a connection with the bot, but it doesn't change actually anything about no bot situation. And also sometimes, for example, bot allow the people to more connection with corporate. It also doesn't work because defector actually more gets benefit from this cooperative circumstance. So yeah, this, this is result is actually what you said about all the player have at least one connection with the bot in these settings. Then I also confirm in the second experiment about uh, even the one bot. So that means some of the player doesn't have a connection with bot. So that means here kind of like a network effect actually created even with this bot strategy. I see. So I, that my answer is that I've already done, and mm -hmm. it's not always work. I see. Only some spec strategy that work. I see. Yeah. Thank you very much once again.